Summer's right around the corner, and that means it's time for a little bit lighter dishes. I've got a wonderful gnocchi caprese pasta dish that I think everyone's gonna like. Let's get cooking with style. The key to making the gnocchi caprese is using quality ingredients. I'm using San Marzano tomatoes. We're gonna use the whole ones, and let me show you the technique I want you to use. We'll take a whole one, and we'll just go ahead and slice it like this. I like this because you get the big chunks of tomatoes. Also, of course, fresh garlic and fresh basil. I'm going to head over to the counter and start putting this all together. I've got my water already boiling, heavily salted, and so I'm using some store-bought gnocchi. Normally I would make them fresh, but we're just doing something that kind of on the fly here. If you'd like the recipe that we made, it's on our website, cbs8.com. These cook fast, I mean really fast, like three or four minutes. So while those are cooking, I'm gonna shift some things around here. Keep that boiling, move it over here on high. I've got my saute pan all ready to go. And in this saute pan on a medium high heat, about two or three tablespoons of olive oil. I've already got my garlic all diced up and ready to go. Again, as much or as little as you like, but a minimum of three or four cloves of garlic. You can see I've got more in there than that. And I'm going to lightly saute these, this garlic. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Keep an eye on those gnocchi, three to four minutes. And then some cracked pepper over the top of that. And then we're going to add the tomatoes in just a moment. This is going to saute for maybe like 30 or 40 seconds. Just enough to open up the oil in the garlic. All right, I'm keeping the garlic moving. I don't want it to get brown. In goes the tomatoes. Careful, don't splatter that hot oil. Okay. So I've got this all going here. And really, this sauce is this simple because we're just going to add the gnocchi to it with some fresh basil at the very end, and it's all going to come together. All right, I'm going to give that gnocchi a light, gentle stir. Been about three or four minutes. Check the uh, recommendation on the box. That's how they look. They're floating on top. We're just going to pour these off and leave whatever water's on them and right back into the pan. Give it a toss there into the pan. That's my dog, Winston. He thinks someone's knocking. All right, and then we'll go like that. Here's that basil, just torn all up. We'll toss that in because the wilt of the basil will release the oils into that sauce. That looks so good. All right, let's get these on the plate and on the table. So look at how beautiful that looks. The color of all those fresh ingredients in there. The tomatoes, those tomatoes make the difference. The San Marzano tomatoes really make a huge difference. And then we're going to finish this off with some shaved Parmesan cheese as opposed to the uh, grated. I like this shaved on it because of the contrast and the bigger flavor. And then, of course, a little presentation, a sprig of basil right in the center there. All right, there's my gnocchi caprese. Super easy, could be the main course, could be a side dish. If you'd like this recipe, it's on our website, cbsa.com slash recipes. That's Casual Elegance here on Cooking with Styles. <laughs>